Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to yet another edition of Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47. We appreciate you joining us every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. Listen, we are still in the grasp of COVID-19. The coronavirus is still in full effect. Looks like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, but as we shoot this, we are still in the middle of it. So when we got started um, with the COVID-19 outbreak, Dave Messick said to me, hey man, I'm gonna give you a camera, see what you can do with the family, be safe, but don't go around people. We're not even gonna be around each other. See if we can get some new stuff done for the TV show. And we've had some really, really great response. Took the family uh, fishing at the Route 90 bridge and caught some rockfish. Last week we had an idea to break out the cue cards and talk about back bay fishing. And man, did I talk a lot. So much so that when I gave Dave the footage, he said, man, I can't fit this into one show. We're gonna have to make two out of it. So coming up after the break, we're gonna bring you part two of our back bay fishing stuff. We're gonna talk about rods. We're gonna talk about setups, where you can get one of our Hooked on OC setups. We're also gonna talk about the different spots that we fish here in Ocean City. And we've got a really great cooking segment in the Lennox Kitchen once again with Ryan behind the lens. We'll see you in just a second for another COVID-19 episode of Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of main brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and Sportfish Yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot Sport Yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, here we go. Let's talk Lennox Arsenal. Let's talk Hooked on OC gun cabinet. This is the stuff that does all of the damage for us. Every one of the rods that you're about to see is a JPR custom rod. Paul Rayburn has been involved with us in the show for several years now. He has an absolutely awesome product. Check them out at jprrods.com if you want to do some custom stuff. And I'm going to show you one in just a couple of minutes that you can pick up at Atlantic Tackle that's a JPR custom with all of our specs. So here it is. Here's Kristen's. She has got a, a Shimano Corvallis on this one. 20 pound braid. She likes the blue and pink, so that's the way she went. You can see right here, she's got her name. A little flounder that's ready to roll. If you look down the blank, that's the curly cue that we are always talking about. The curly cue means that the eyes on this conventional rod go around the blank. So the line never touches the blank as it's got a bend in it. It's always touching the inside of a guide as it goes around the, the uh, shaft of the rod. You'll see that on all of our conventional stuff. Spinning rods obviously don't need that because it's always touching a guide because it's coming out of the bottom of the rod. I'll show you that in just a minute. There's Kristen's stick. Had a little damage happen to this one. Paul fixed it up with this beautiful wrap down here on the bottom. Nice stick. When I said she liked blue and pink, I meant it. Here's another one. Blue and pink. 
She likes the foam handle. This one's black on the bottom. A different but beautiful blue and pink wrap down here on the bottom. Flounder here as well. Can't tell what our favorite type of fishing is, can you? That's an Abu Garcia, something I got her for Christmas a couple years ago that she absolutely loves. And that was available over at Atlantic Tackle. And once again, the curly Q going around the blank. You can see that one's set up with the Deadly Double and Chartreuse. Here's mine. I like the cork. Easy, guys. Canyon reel here. Love that low profile setup. I switched out the little paddle handle for the larger crank handle on this one. And I've got some fishing OC colors on here. Yellow and blue. My name in big letters. Fishing OC with a flounder. Nice wrap on the guides going up. And once again, curly Q. Trigger handle on that one. All right, we like stuff in the 12 to 25 pound class. And I'll show you why. It's got a fast taper on it. So it's got a really strong backbone to it, but it also has a really soft tip. So if I can get this untangled at the bottom, there we go. If I can get this untangled, we'll show you at the tip it's really, really soft. So as we're drifting along, you can see that flounder biting. Doom, 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 doom. But when you set the hook on him, you don't have any problem getting him up off the bottom. You don't have any, have any problem getting a tall tog out of a hole. You don't have any problem getting a nice sheep's head out of the rocks on the jetty. Really soft tip, so you can see that and feel every single little nibble. But boom, when you get that big one on, you got plenty of backbone to be able to get him in the boat. I've had this reel for no less than 20 years. The Shimano Calcutta TE. I don't even think they make it anymore. But they don't have to make this one anymore as long as they keep making parts. Dennis over there at Atlantic Tackle does a great job with this every couple of years. This is literally the first bait caster that I ever had. Bought this back when I was, sheesh, probably in my mid, I don't know even talk about it. But there it is, the Calcutta TE, 20 plus years in my arsenal and still does a great job. 20 pound test on there, about 180 or 200 yards of braid, curly Q rod, and as I teased before, this is the Hooked On OC Custom Special. Always and readily available at Atlantic Tackle. It comes in casting with the Curly Q like this, or it comes in spinning. Both versions are $2.59, I think, and that is a great price for a custom rod. And here's what I'm gonna show you with this one. I've got the pink Deadly Double here, ready to roll. I get a lot of questions about gulps and how you put them on. And unlike regular grubs, Gulp actually have a right and wrong way to put them on. So we've got the four inch swimming mullet in white here. And if you look at them, that's right side up. That's upside down. Okay. The tail is facing up when the fish is facing up. If you look closely, you can see his head right there. It's actually got a shape to it. Unlike a lot of grubs that don't have any shape to them, they're just round and then the tail comes off. They really can't be upside down or right side up. This one can. So here's how you want to hook this bad boy. You want to make sure he's swimming right side up. That way he doesn't get twisted and doesn't allow your rigs to twist up. So hold him right side up. Put your thumb and first finger, the spot you want to come through the, the body of the uh, bait. Hook goes in the nose. Back to that spot where you want the hook to come out between your fingers. Boom. That's when you break the skin and then push him up against the eye of the hook. And that, my friends, is a perfectly hooked gulp bait, all right? Sometimes we'll tip this with a live minnow back here. It's one of the reasons we want to do these larger hooks on the deadly double, because I can still tip this with a minnow if I feel like it, or I can use the five inch gulp and put that on there and I'm not gonna to lose too much of the shank of the hook. I might have to put this in because I have a little sunlight left and there might be some flounder around. But before I do, here's Ryan's stuff. We're on to the spinning gear. Ryan's not as, uh, as versed in the fishing ways in the Lennox family yet that Kristen and I are, so we put him on the, the dummy proof stuff. He's getting the hang of it. He'll be there soon enough, but these are really, really simple setups. You can put a spinning reel on. Great backbone, just like we've got on our casting stuff. It's got a really, really loose tip up top, a nice soft tip, but plenty of backbone. So if you happen to get a large fish on there, you can get him to the boat, no problem. 
We use these mainly for casting or if we're flounder fishing or bottom fishing. Ryan's got something where he doesn't have to worry about keeping his thumb on the spool and that sort of thing. So this one right here is set up for a bottom fishing trip we did a week ago. And this one is ready for a Roy rig. So let's tie the Roy rig. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Speed World at Jolly Roger Park on 30th Street, one of America's largest, the area's fastest and baddest go-kart tracks. And now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City. Speed World, with 10 tracks and over 500 cars featuring the cyclone, a five-story kart coaster. Named by Fox News as one of the country's top new amusement attractions. Come to Speed World on 30th Street in Ocean City. Fast and furious fun for the entire family. Now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, we've got this spinning rod ready to go, ready to get the Roy rig tied on. And I've had some questions about how you set the Roy rig up. Very, very, very simple. If you have just monofilament on your reel, you can tie it directly to it. I wouldn't recommend tying braid directly to a rig like this. But if you've got monofilament, you can tie that right on there if you felt like it. If you're using anything less than 20 or 30 pound test, I also recommend doing this because it's going to give you a little bit stronger leader, but it's very, very simple to do. I've got my Roy rig ready to go. I've got some 30 pound fluorocarbon here through the eye, if I can see with my prescription costas. I'm going to go regular old fisherman's knot. One, two, three, four, five, six around the main line. Go back through that circle that I've kept down at the rig. Pull that tight. Wet it a little bit so I can snug it up without getting any kinks. Okay, ready to go on that end. Snip my tag. Don't let that go overboard. I'm gonna let myself have about two feet of leader. Get that off. And then I'm going to a little swivel. That's a mighty strong swivel for as small as it is. Big Bird had this idea, uses these little spro swivels. That's a 50 pound swivel. Really, really great, but I can also put it, it'll also go through the eyes of the spinning reel. So if I can't teach my kid to stop reeling his stuff up through the eye, it'll continue to go through the eye of the spinning reel. You can even cast through it if you feel like it. Same thing on this one with a much smaller hole. Regular old fisherman's knot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back through the hole I've left at the swivel. Snug it up loosely. Wet it. And then pull that tight and I'm ready to go. So simple as that. Got my ball bearing swivel up top, the barrel swivel, about a foot and a half or two feet of leader down to my Roy rig. And then this goes on to the spinning rod to do some casting and we show you the spots that we're fishing. Here we go! Oh, 
those birds laughing at me or with me? Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about his awesome guy. He's got it ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family, too. For a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. The cool, wet spring and the short summer means an abundance of leftover inventory. So at Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning, when you buy a high-efficiency gas furnace and coil, we'll replace your air conditioner for $9.95. We also have great deals on heat pumps, and if you buy a 16-seer system, you get a free 10-year part and labor rapid repair warranty. But this deal won't last long, so act fast. Call Arctic Heating and Air Conditioning for your free no-obligation estimate today. For program details, call your local Arctic office or visit them online at arcticheatandair.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Alright, as we talk fishing spots, we're going to start at the north and head to the south. Some of the more popular spots that we fish, and some of the spots that you're going to see in the Fishing OC Fishing Report on a pretty much nightly basis. First up, the Route 90 Bridge. You can see that there's a couple boats down here fishing right now. Can't blame them, it's absolutely beautiful. There's loads and loads and loads of rockfish. Not gonna see too many tall tog or sheep's head or anything like that up here. The occasionals, very, very small sea bass. But this is one of those spots where you're gonna catch flounder, trout, rockfish, even red drum on occasion. Route 90 Bridge is one of the better spots, especially for folks that live north of it, up toward do uh, Bethany and Delaware and places like that that want to come down and fish our bay or north part of Ocean City. It's also a quick jump over from Ocean Pines and West Ocean City and a really, really good spot. Next up. All right, man, I can't be, <laughs> I can't be way up here on a beautiful night like this after what we fished in a couple of weeks ago and not have a couple of casts. I got that Roy rig all ready to go. Ryan's rod's ready to go. We just checked on him. He's got some Sprite and some Pop-Tarts keeping him, keeping him company. So we're gonna make a couple of casts here at the bridge to see what we can do real quick. All right, here we go.
Can't pass this up. You try this. <laughs> All right, further to the south from the Route 90 bridge is in a spot that I call the Y. Very familiar with this spot. I used to work back at Bahia Marina in the early 90s all the way through the end of the 90s and beyond. And we still do some stuff with Bahia Marina over there where they hold the Pearl Girls Open, the Mako Mania, the Flounder Pounder, and a couple other great events. Fishtails is right next door. It is right around the corner here. But I call it the Y because it's a place where you can either go this channel to the north to the convention center and beyond to the Route 90 bridge or the west part of this channel which heads over to the thoroughfare. The thoroughfare is one of the better spots in the area for flounder especially in the spring. You head that way into the setting sun about four or five hundred yards make a hard right to the north you're going to be up in the thoroughfare flats anywhere from four to six feet deep awesome spot April May for some really really nice flounder where your keeper ratio is going to be up. Let's head south. Another little jog to the south just down from the Y in the main channel in the middle part of the bay. We've got the 9th Street Pier over here, the north end of the east channel toward 8th and 9th Street. And then what can be a really, really productive drift, Harbor Island. Just on the other side of this rip that you can see here, you can see the rip that we're sitting in with the incoming tide. The other side of that is that nice calm water. There's a sandbar, and on the other side of that is an old channel that used to run up that way. We used to dump fish parts in there. I think it was illegal. But really great spot to drift for flounder. My lovely bride caught her biggest one yet over there. Six pounds. You never know where a big doormat might jump on, especially in some of this deeper water. What's one of the more popular spots? The Route 50 Bridge. All right, one of the more popular spots that you're going to find fishing in the back bays of Ocean City is the Route 50 Bridge, and that's for good reason. The East Channel, north and south of the Route 50 Bridge are hot spots for basically every fish that we went through at the top of the show. Everything that is back here in the bays likes to congregate around the Route 50 Bridge at some point, especially bluefish, rockfish, flounder, and trout. Sometimes you catch a red drum or a black drum underneath the bridge. Always croakers and things come through here. It's a really, really terrific spot. We are in the East Channel right now. Incoming tide. The main span of the bridge is the East Channel, the main channel of the bay back here as you're coming down from the Ocean City Inlet. You can see the lazy lizard over here over to our east, the electric plant, and then this East Channel goes all the way north to where we just left you up there by 8th and 9th Street before you head to the northwest and thoroughfare Route 90 bridge. If you look over here to the west, in between us and Hoopers on the west side of the bay is a spot we call the Fish Bowl. Shallower spot, really, really expansive. It covers a couple of acres. Water depth's anywhere from 20 feet close to the bridge all the way back to three or so feet. But it's a really great spot for flounder in the fall. And then the West Channel. And I'm mentioning the West Channel for you guys to know where the West Channel is and how to get there. Really, really good fishing spot for flounder, the West Channel. You don't know how to get there? Don't go there all kinds of sandbars and stuff over there. You are gonna run aground if you don't know how to get to the West Channel. You definitely don't want to go over from the Ocean City Fishing Center because of the submerged rocks and things on the west side of the Route 90 bridge, especially after you've been doing this construction underneath the bridge. West Channel runs all the way up the west side of the bay to the uh, back entrance to the thoroughfare. But like I said, don't try and get over there if you don't already know how to get there. And if you do try and get over there, go with someone that knows. Write it down, make notes. Let's head a little bit further south. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. 
There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater center console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite, hold true. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Appreciate you tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC. We're here every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Unfortunately, we are still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so we can't get to our local restaurants, but rest assured soon enough we will be there bringing you all the great dishes that those places have. Um, the only place really that we can get into is Crabs to Go. They're doing some uh, window service right there in front of the building, not letting anybody into the building, obviously. Uh, and they're doing really well with it. So we had some great response from our last cooking segment. Way to go. Um, it was a, it was a Rock of, Oysters Rockefeller uh, recipe from Kristen's family, and it was really well received. We've got emails, Facebook posts, and all that kind of thing, people asking about the recipe specifically that we've sent along. We're also going to be putting that and this recipe on our fishinoc.com website. So we're going to remove the Live and La Vida local blog, and we'll put some recipes in there because we've gotten such a great response from it. So because of that, what we've done is we're in our kitchen again, and we've gone to the recipe book once again, and I'm picking out some of my favorite stuff that she makes throughout the course of the year, and today is another awesome one. It doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of ingredients, real simple to whip up, but absolutely delicious. So without further ado, my lovely wife. Hi, everybody. Uh, today we're going to make something called crabbies. Now this is not anything I've ever had anywhere out. It's not anything I've ever seen on a yeah. restaurant menu. I don't even know. When you said crabbies when right. you first started this, I had no idea what you were talking about. Yeah, it's called crabbies. It's an old, old, old recipe from uh, back when I lived in Dorchester County. I don't know if Miss Kathy Roten watches the show or anybody that's watching right now, let her know that I am featuring her recipe for crabbies from probably 25 years ago. So two of my favorite things in the world come out of Herlock, Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hi family and friends from Dorchester. All right, so back to crabbies. Um, it's really a very simple recipe. There's only a few ingredients in here. Uh, I've got softened butter. I took this out well in advance. It'll, it'll uh, mix up really easily. Yeah. Old English cheese spread. That's the key, folks. Yes. Don't use just cheddar or anything else. I don't know what it is about this old English cheese spread. It's kind of like it's soft and squishy and it really mixes well. What yeah. do you think about it? I oh, it's know. awesome. I think that's the key. Like I said, when you when we when you got the stuff that we needed to make this with, I said let me smell that, remember, because right. It smells really, really good, and I think that's the kicker for what makes this really delicious. Remember, right. I thought there was a ton of butter in it, but there's really not. Well, a stick of butter, it's kind yeah, of But a still lot. spread out yeah. across 12 or 15 right. crabbies, it's not it's a really ton. Good yeah, mixture. it's really not, not a lot of butter, but and that really makes it nice and, and sweet. Right. Yeah. And then we've got uh, seasoned salt, garlic salt, that's your only spice. 
a little bit of mayo to bind it together. And of course, the There's star the kicker. of the show. There's the kicker, right from Crabs to Go, these giant jumbo lump crab meat. If you don't feel like paying top dollar for the jumbo lump stuff, you can go down a notch or two, but we really recommend the jumbo lump because you get those really nice bites of really sweet crab meat. Especially when you get those big ones from the back fin like that. That's good. Don't, mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> Don't want to eat all your supplies. With this, we only use about half of a pound of crab meat. So okay. if you get, you know, the like we did, you can make two batches of it or you can use it for something else. Right. A lot of times what we would do growing up, we would pick our own crabs sure. from the Chop Tank River, which by the way are the best crabs in my opinion. Yep. Crabs to go has those when they can get them. Yep, they'll start here probably this month. And then we would just take it and then we would make this recipe. Right. All right, so starting with the butter, we're gonna yep. add all of our ingredients and we're gonna add the crab last. So we're and gonna- And this is just as simple as adding all this stuff in here and yep. mixing it up, right? Yep, just okay. a Salt stick butter. of butter, yep, nice and soft. Guys, if you do like I do sometimes, and you get a recipe for softened butter, don't microwave it and melt it, all right? You can pop it in there for five seconds at a time, five seconds at a time, but then just push down on it and see if it's, you know, softened like they say, but do not melt it all, all the way completely because then your recipe is not going to be as exactly like it should be. Especially with this because we need that spreadable consistency, yeah, we, not yeah. liquid. So don't, don't melt, melt you it. Wanna pour, to you don't want to pour it on there. You're going to want to spread it on there like a nice cheese spread. All right. The hardest part of this whole recipe <laughs> is getting this container of Old English cheese spread open. All right. How is it? Yeah. All right. So a couple of arrows up top. Oh my. You have to pop it. Ooh, oh, we did. Yay! Oh, you had a head pop on that one, didn't you? <laughs> no. It took me a little while to get that open last time. So, I'm just gonna, I'll let you take a look. It's just, it's kind of like a glorified cheese whiz. Yeah, it's really what it is. It's so good though. You might even be able to use cheese whiz in a, in a mm. pinch. Wouldn't recommend it. The old English know. stuff is really, really, really it, good. This has a different flavor to it. I don't know what it is. It just it just has a different flavor. And there's probably recipes online if you felt like looking up old English cheese spread that you could make yourself at home if you felt like doing it that way because you look at the ingredients list on the back and it's cheddar cheese, some salts and things like that. But uh, this is much, much easier and this is the mm, way we like it. That's not good. It, smells, it does smell like cheese whiz. <laughs> All right, next um, up. I don't even know where to find it in the grocery store. I went in Food Lion one time and I didn't know where to look for it. So I just got it off the Walmart pickup yeah, delivery. It's probably so, with the dips and stuff, yeah. well, I guess. If you yeah. do Walmart pickup, they have it on there <laughs> for you. That's where I got mine from. Easy peasy. All right, next. Okay, good, I'll mix. Well, well let's finish. We didn't even mix quite yet, but if you want to mm -hmm. add this half teaspoon of garlic salt. Half a teaspoon? Yes. Done. Half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. That smells good too. I love seasoned salt. Yeah, that's nice. That's really not a lot of this stuff. No, it's not. It's just basically just to bind it together. And then mayo. And then we need one and a half tablespoons, so one and a half of that. Yep. Or like I do, just bop. We're not, we're not baking here, so the... <laughs> Nailed it. So here, can you see in here? Now we have all of our ingredients in here, just in a big pile. I'm just gonna combine it. Just take a couple of minutes and quick, easy, yep. Get it all together before we add our crab meat. So this recipe is so simple. I don't know. I guess maybe people have never. I don't know. I've never had it. Never seen it. I've never heard of it or never seen it before. Of it. But it is really one of my favorites now. I mean, it's this so is good. awesome. It's right up there with the Rockefeller we had last time. Yeah. Good recipes from Harlock, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, I pulled my my, my uh, sleeve up here and exposed my beautiful reactor watch from Park Place Jewelers. Kristen had a good point. Oh, She's wearing so her I stuff today, too. We, uh, give them some props right now. Mother's Day is right around the corner, folks. Um, they're not an essential business, but they are taking appointments. They're doing stuff over the Internet, so give them a call. Give Todd and Jill a call over there at Park Place Jewelers if you need something for Mother's Day. Even with everything that's going on, I'm sure they can hook you up. I saw that you said that they're shipping. so they They're shipping? Sh yeah, Very I good. So go to the website, parkplacejewelers.com, I would imagine, uh, or give them a call over there in West Ocean City, and they'll get you hooked up. Yeah, I love my reactor. It's like my yeah, one of my nice. favorite gifts that Scott ever gave to me. Same here. All right, now um, let me show you. Are you going to show them? Yep, consistency. You can like. see that. Kind of like a creamy peanut butter. It is kind of like a consistency of peanut butter. You're welcome. Butter. Okay, and then we're going to take the crab meat that we have. I 
always kind of pick through it before I put it in Definitely the recipe. Definitely pick through it, yeah. I just check to make sure there aren't any of those little uh, shells. When it comes from there. the processor, it's really, really well done, okay? You could put it right in any dish that you wanted to, but it's not perfectly well done. Even at Crabs to Go, when they put this stuff into the dishes they're doing there, crab cakes, uh, crab dips and things like that at Crabs to Go, they're going to sift through it because you do not want somebody biting into a shell that could crack a tooth. You know, get into the gums or something. It too, if you bite into your yeah, delicious, you delicious product crabs. and you got that. All right, I'm gonna let you add this in, and I'm gonna okay. mix it. We're gonna kind of, we're going to fold it. Fold in. it in, guys. Don't stir it in. Don't bust it in. So he's gonna jump a little bit in, and I'm just gonna go up and over. Really loosely stir this in, so it's all incorporated. It. There you go. Go ahead and dump the rest in, and I'll mix it up. Oh, actually, I'll keep this here. Oh, okay, you go for it. <laughs> So we just, so I don't want to break up the lump crab meat. I just want to kind of incorporate it. So that's why I'm just kind of going under and over and just mixing it in a little bit. Trust me, I wish I could cook like Geary Beach. I think of him every time we make food because his food is so delicious. Yeah. We need him in here. But this recipe is easy. We can do it. Mm -hmm. Did he teach you how to make that flounder bar blanc that time? Yep. Is that where that came yep. from? Oh my gosh, that's so I good. think it was one of the episodes, one of the cooking segments where I took... He yelled at me because I took the same spoon and put it back into this. Oh, oven. yeah, you cannot do that. Especially not even in our house. I just, I yeah, don't like I don't that at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's all mixed together. We have a big oh. pile of crab cheese spread is basically what it is. All right. Next. We're going to take that and put them on our English muffins. What I did, these are six English muffins. Just took them and cut them apart so they're all ready to go for us. We're going to take this mixture and just put a pile on each one, spread it out. All right, let's do one, and then we'll then we'll take a quick break and finish the rest while. So just folks... a little pile of that on yeah. there. Whoop. That's it. That's it, and then just take and smash just it, it down, spread it around. Yeah. Wow. And that's it. It's a pretty good amount that you can get on each of your little crabbies because, as you can see, there's only twelve halves, and then we have all of this meat. So we've got that. That's it. So what we're gonna do is, in a minute, we're gonna finish spreading our spread on the rest of the English muffins. Now, this recipe says you take them after they're done and you need to put them in the freezer and freeze them. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop them in the freezer, let them freeze, and then bring them back out and cut them up for you. Okay. You put them need, in the oven. Y'all don't need we'll to stick do. around for that. So let's deep freeze them. Bam! Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. 
And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, we're all set. We've got our uh, crabbies that have just been created all spread out on the uh, English muffins. They're ready to go. You have a special way for how you pack these up before I you do. freeze them? Okay, let's pack, pack three of them up and then so, we'll throw these in the oven. Because these need to go in the freezer and you don't want them all smashed together and sticking to each other when you pull them back out, just grab a piece of parchment paper and I just unwrap these, so I'm just reusing them. Smart. S stick it here and then I just kind of fold it over like a little accordion and then back. And then nice. those are ready to go. I pop it into a freezer bag. Just this, is, I'm not going to use this one, but just so you know, just like that, and then just load them up in the freezer bag. Okay, yeah, that's smart. We don't know the exact reason what the, why the recipe calls for it to go in a freezer. Imagine because it's got to be co cooked from a really, really cold temperature. You don't want to put this in there. I'm guessing that the English cheese spread will probably get runny probably. if it goes straight from well, we're thawed we're room temperature. It yeah, too, I, so. I imagine that's it's exactly the case. Oh. It will probably go runny and you don't want that. So yeah. freeze them and then it will cool down while it's in the broiler. And uh, one thing too, before we pop them in the broiler, I need to take a knife and cut each one into four pieces. So it kind of makes them a little bite size. Oh, pieces. and the edges get mm -hmm. crunchy? Yeah. Sweet. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut them into four. So let me grab a knife real quick. Just so you can get an, an idea before we put them in the oven. There we go. Okay, so you're just doing right. cutting them. So I imagine if I was cutting these, it would make a big mess. Yeah. But now it's all frozen. You can see that. And it does, the recipe does say take them out about five minutes before you're wanting to use them. And then it makes these cute little bite Okay, so bite the, ed size. the edges on that will get crispy mm -hmm. too. It's oh, so good. Word. And you can just, these are kind of like little appetizers. I didn't know you cut them beforehand. Yeah. And then I'll, we're just going to go ahead and cut all of those up. Okay. We're going to pop them in the oven and broil them. And then we're going to pack these up and put these in the freezers for a later date. So it's nice if you get a whole pound of crab meat, you can make two batches of them and you have tons to eat, which is what we like to do. Nice work. Thanks. So the next time we see these, they'll be bubbly and crunchy mm -hmm. and ready to eat. We'll be eating. <laughs> okay. Timer. Let's see how these look. Check. Oh, they look perfect. Oh, look man. at that. Nice and brown and bubbly. <laughs> My recipe, because there, you know, it's not much of a recipe other than the ingredients, it just said broil until brown and bubbly. So I wasn't sure how many minutes that meant. These broiled for about three and a half to four minutes, but once they get to that three minute mark, don't walk away from them. You yeah. can burn them in a matter of seconds. Because the English muffins are in there on the bottom, they can get torched quick, just like they can in a toaster oven. So pay close attention to your timing. And your cook time is probably going to depend on how frozen your uh, crabbies are and how hot your broiler gets. We have a very hot 500 degree broiler and the crabbies were super solid frozen. So it took about four minutes to get them to where they are right now. We'll let these cool down for maybe, I don't not long. 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it a minute or so and then we are going to indulge, boy. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Been waiting for these yeah, for a yeah. long time. Okay. Doesn't look like much, right? This is probably best served as an appetizer. But if you like them as much as we do, you make two batches, and there's only three of us, so we just have these for dinner. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. You know the crunch of the English muffin? Look, hold on. I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> I do, though. You've been teasing me about making these. I know, they're so good. We don't and then we had, oh my them. gosh. What do you like better, my mom's oyster stuffing or these crabbies? These are so good. <laughs> um, it's hard. It's not fair because one's oysters and one's crab. Suzanne, she actually thought I was going to answer that question. It's because I thought he was going to say oyster stuffing because I knew that's what you're what standing in front of me in striking distance. <laughs> <laughs> True. Mmm. Oh you can God. taste the butter and the cheese. It's all melted. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Whether it's a chart plot or fish finder combo for your inshore bay boat or a complete electronics package including radar, plotter, thermal imaging camera, autopilot or sonar, East Coast Marine Electronics can handle it all. Veteran owned and operated, give Chad a call at 443-880-7206 or email at chad at eastcoastmarineelectronics.com.
Termites can strike without warning, coming up and damaging support structures of your home undetected for years. That's why it's vital to have termite protection you can trust. At Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions, besides our great service, we also stand behind our termite defense programs, from a chemical treatment to our termite bait station system. Help Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions make Delmarva termite free again. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Hooked on OC here on WMDT TV 47 every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. We have reached the time in the show where we are going to bring you the Angler's Advantage and today is from Sunset Provisions in West Ocean City. Sunset Provisions has been deemed a necessary business because they supply things for the DNR, Coast Guard and that sort of thing and lots of stuff under one roof is going to be things you need for getting your boat ready, keeping it clean, keeping it powered, keeping it fueled and all of those aspects of boating and fishing that will give you the Angler's Advantage. Let's start right off the bat with what's going on right now. Paint. Right, Interlux, Pettit, Seahawk, they've got it. Brushes and solvents to go with it, tape, all the extra supplies that you need. Zincs, if you need zincs for your shafts. Cleaning and detailing supplies like soaps, wax and brushes. Safety equipment, life jackets, flares, first aid kits. Rope and anchor supplies, I needed them a couple of weeks ago. Somebody swiped my anchor off my boat. They had everything I needed. Shackles, chain, rope, anchor, whole nine yards. You need lights, dockside electrical, wires, harnesses, connectors, that sort of thing, all right here under one roof in West Ocean City. Fuel additives, oil, fuel filters, tanks, and fittings. Need a battery for the boat, had a battery die last year, 12 volt all the way up to 8D. They have them in stock and ready to go. Pumps, live well pumps, bilge pumps by Jabsco, Rule, SureFlow. Huge selection of fasteners and stainless steel hardware. They've even got stuff like snacks and drinks. Cannot forget Costa sunglasses. They've got a really, really nice line of apparel. Some Fish and OC apparel is in there behind the door. A very brand new product called Deep. You're going to have to come in here and see it. It's the, probably the only place around in the area, in the region, that's got the new Deep apparel. Check them out. And what we're talking about during these last couple of shows, rigs and live bait. They've got live minnows here at Sunset Provisions. Skip the minnow catches some of the biggest minnows that I have ever ever seen. They've got all the new fish and OC rigs under the roof here at Sunset Provisions and they're all ready to go. Check in and check out the, the small but really really great selection of inshore tackle that they have here at Provisions so you can get everything that you need for your boat all in one place. Hours right now 8 30 a.m. until 3 p.m. seven days a week. That may change by the time this show airs so give them a call 410-213-0081 to find out what the current hours are but right now 8 30 until 3 every single day. All right back to the show we will be back with you in just a second with some more Hooked on OC. See you in a minute. Hooked on OC we'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the science. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. Spencer Yachts Brokerage presents the 44-foot Spencer Express Traveler, the 47-foot James Hudson Gala Mine, the 48-foot Custom Carolina Oceans East, the 57-foot Ricky Scarborough Sally Girl, the 70-foot Spencer Plain Simple, the 74-foot Spencer Centurion, the 87-foot Spencer Bangarang. All available at SpencerYB.com.
And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, we are right now in the middle of the Ocean City Inlet. I say middle because there are all kinds of fishing spots right around us and underneath of us. If you look over to our east, you've got the Oceanic Fishing Pier, great spot to try downtown if you need to fish from shore. The North Jetty is on the north side of the Ocean City Inlet. The South Jetty, you're going to catch most of the stuff we talked about earlier in the show. Great spot for rockfish, uh, red drum, black drum, triggerfish, sheep's head, flounder around the outside, bluefish on the outside. Definitely a great spot for tall tog, even right now as we move into the summer. We spin around this way, we've got Assateague Island in a really good spot along Assateague Island's backside where you can catch flounder, trout, rockfish, bluefish especially. Over here, the Ocean City Commercial Harbor where we've got some really good flounder drifts. Look over to our direct west, that's Martha's Landing. You can see the nice houses out there. When we talk about Martha's Landing in the, in the Fishing OC Fishing Report catching tall tog, that's right there in front along all of those rip rap and rocks where the tall tog like to hang out. And where are we going next? We're going home. Down behind Assateague Island is one of the better spots for flounder. Back there you can find Castaway's Campground Drift. You can find the duck blinds and the Verrazano Bridge way to the south. Everything behind Assateague Island can be a really, really good spot, especially in the spring for flounder. Not much else back there. You might find a croaker or two, but a really, really great spot for flounder. And then the Verrazano Bridge, bluefish, red drum, small sharks, and rockfish hang out there. Well, folks, I'm running out of sunlight. So the spots are done. The rigs are done, the rods are done, the baits are done, the fish are done. I'll be back in just a second to close all this stuff up. Can't believe I didn't catch a fish on this trip, but you learned something about it. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, folks, there you go. Wrapped it up for you here in two episodes. Uh, Dave, sorry I talked so long. I had no idea how much time I was filling. And once I start talking about fishing here in Ocean City, I will ramble on and on. But you guys have given us a great response from it. So thank you so much for that. You can get all that stuff at fishingoc.com. We've got all the rigs available right there. And as soon as all the tackle shops open up, Atlantic Tackle especially, they are going to have that stuff stocked to the ceiling. So if you need it, head into those places and pick it up. You can also head over to Atlantic Tackle and check out our Hooked on OC fishing rod. JPR special all ready for you there to go got it in spinning and have it in casting with the curly Q I think they're retailing at around 259 or so and that is a really great deal for a custom fishing rod from Paul at JPR big thanks to my wife Kristen for being behind the lens like right now big thanks to Ryan he did a great job filming the cooking segment if you're gonna check out that stuff you can go to our website fishingoc.com we've got the recipes right there in La Vida local and 
Make sure you check out HookedOnOC.com. This and every other episode is available on YouTube at our YouTube link, youtube.com slash unseenpro. And we post everything to Facebook. So like us on Facebook, Hooked on OC and Fishing OC. We're also Hooked on OC on Instagram and I Fishing OC on Instagram. Folks, looking forward to bringing you some fishing footage here in the next couple of episodes. We've got number 300 coming at you next time. 300 episodes of Hooked on OC. We've been doing this for 16 years and we absolutely love it. And we could not do it without you and our awesome sponsors. So until next time, I'm Scott Lennox. Got to get fishing for some flounder or something here real soon. Check you next time.